Okay, so I'm going to show you how to install WordPress on AWS. If you can log into the console and get to this stage, I need you to click on EC2. We need to launch an instance. Search for WordPress. Go to Marketplace and look for WordPress certified by Bitnami and automatic. Select. Continue. Select free tier. Review and launch. Launch. It's important that you create a new key pair. And call it whatever you like and download that key pair. Make sure that you have that key pair on your desktop. Launch the instance. It takes a few seconds and you can go to your EC2 dashboard where you'll see the instance is loading. I'll just tell you a little bit about what's happening whilst it does that. Uh, we need to rename the instance. And you can see that you're running, that you've been allocated a public IP address. This is the location of your uh, website. So you need to copy that and paste it into browser. However, this is a temporary IP address. If you were to stop and start the WordPress instance, which is possible from the actions menu here, stop and start, um, your IP address would be renewed each time. So you would get a brand new IP address. Just while we're waiting for the instance to load, I will show you how to allocate static IP address. So allocate new address. This will be your static IP address. I'm going to rename that WordPress so it matches the new instance that we've created. And it's important now you associate the static IP address with the WordPress instance. You can see here, this is the one we need to use. I personally would always allow the static IP address to be reassociated, re even if it's attached to somewhere else. If you uh, stop the instance, but you still want to link your domain name uh, to a new instance, this is very useful. Associate. You can see that our static IP address 3.9.0.148 has been generated. If we go back now to the EC2 dashboard, you can see here that we have now got our static IP address 3.9.0.148. All our checks are complete, so let's go over and see our new WordPress install. see we're up and running here. You can also access through the public DNS. It's the safe install pair. Now in the usual way you can access your WordPress instance by typing WP admin but at the moment you've got absolutely no credentials. So I'm going to show you how to access your credentials. So go back to dashboard. In the actions menu, go to instance settings, down to system log, and you'll see right down at the bottom, two boxes like this with hash. 
this one you have your bit name bit naming application password so select the password and right click and copy you can see underneath here it says that your default username is user so we'll pop back to WP admin username is user we'll paste our password and we'll log in and there you have WordPress installed on Amazon Web Services.